Hey OJ here. It's cooking time and I have my handy dandy little assistant here. She's going to do some explaining and uh, we're going to we're not actually going to do some cooking, we're going to do some baking. This is a not even baking. Not we're going to we're going to make cookies. But we're going to make cookies. cooking and it's not baking. Right? Go ahead. And I hate being on camera, but he's making me do this because this is my family's recipe, and it's called Fiddle Littles. Um, what are some of the other names people call uh, haystacks, this? Haystacks, beaver dams, unbaked Chocolate cookies. Chocolate unbaked cookies, which is really yeah. boring. Um, but this Fiddle. is... Fiddle Littles is more... Well, and I've been trying to convert the world to calling it Fiddle Littles. So, um, this is a recipe that I can remember from when I was a kid. So, and it was called Fiddle Dills back then. So we know it's, I don't know how many years ago. We don't want to think about that. That's a long time yeah. ago. Well, it's, it, yeah, close to 70 more, years. More than a day, a day or two. Ago. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we will show you the ingredients and then he's going to do the cooking because he makes, I do it better. He makes them way better than anyone else. <laughs> so, okay. Well, I think we're ready to make them. Yep. Or you're ready to make them. I'm ready. I'm, I'm done. I'm always ready. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> so this is the ingredients you need. Um, oatmeal, sugar, cocoa, coconut, butter. Well, used to be margarine, but we use butter. Vanilla. And this is my mom's recipe box. And this is the recipe card I made when I was, I don't know, maybe 10 years old with spelling mistakes. and But anyway, that that's that and then when Dana our oldest daughter was in I think kindergarten her class made a cookbook and she made the she put the recipe in I think I have put this recipe in every community book that ever asked for a recipe fiddle diddles so it's it's out there all over the place oh and this is one of mom's pots and we would use it but as you can see it's kind of warped now so we're just going to use a regular pot so i think that's it so time for oj to get to work okay we're back now we've uh, pre-measured some stuff here don't worry about catching everything that i put in here um this one i do measure for because if you don't measure it'll go but put too much butter in and they, be, uh, they get soft and soggy and not enough then they get dried out so all oh, we follow the measurements here so I'm just gonna put the coconut in here and then I'm gonna put the oat I put uh, cocoa and oatmeal in here so I just dump that in there and we're just gonna stir it around here All I do is make sure it's uh, well mixed in here and then what I do is I kind of hollow it out in the middle here just to make it look like a canyon just to pour my stuff in here. The way Debs used to make it we used to dump the dry stuff in the, the wet stuff but I do it the other way and it works. Anyways we're going to get the stuff ready for the stove here now. Okay, we started without you here. We put our butter in here and we've got it almost all mel melted. Then you're going to put your milk in here. I also put the vanilla in here. Don't do it too fast because uh, you'll end up curdling in here. And then, uh, then you're going to start it all over. sugar in there. We get this. So we keep stirring here until it starts to come to a boil and then once we get it to a boil then we bring it to a hard boil for one minute and try not to do it for any longer or, or any shorter do it that one minute. 
I did mean to say that uh, we will put the recipe in the comments below there. Forgot to mention that when I got yabbering away there. Okay, now we're almost to a boil here. And we'll get these things boiled up and then we'll be dumping them into our mixture here. Don't start the timer till we get to get it boiling here. And we're just just about there. Okay, now we're into a hard boil. My other phone here. So yeah, this is what it should look like when you come to a hard boil. It kind of foams up here. Keep your fingers back because uh, sometimes it spits at you and tries to show you who's boss. One thing, if these don't turn out, we'll have to make some more. Good excuse, anyway. So. There. Right. There's one minute, and then we're going to take this. I guess, and we're going to dump it into our mixture here. So, we've mixed it all up in here, so now we're just going to scoop it all up in, into here, and then uh, we'll start putting it on these sheets here. You can kind of tell by the feel whether it's when it's too dry or too moist. If it's too moist, what I do is I just either grab a, a handful of coconut or, a, or just some quick oats and dump them in. But there, that's all mixed up. This is, looks like it's going to be a good batch. And then I'll start putting them in there. Before that, do you like my apron? It's awesome. I've had this for about 20 years. I think Deb shrunk it a little bit on me because uh, it's getting a little small. I might have to make another one, but or get another one. So uh, we're going to start and put these on there, and uh, then we'll wait for them to cool down and have another taste test. Okay, we're going to start putting them in on the cook sheet here. There's no uh, no rhyme or reason on making them too small, too big. Maybe you just want to uh, make a great big one and sit on the couch and watch a movie. Usually when I'm making these, these little spots that fall out, they're not usually there when I'm done because my wife will come along and like this? Like that, and pick them off, see? Mmm. To die for? Are they to mm. die for? Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> Might be a little too dry. We'll Maybe. see. Hopefully they turn out. If not, you'll have to make more. Yeah. Turn out. And there you go. Depending on the size, I probably could have got 48. There's not quite 48, plus my assistants here have both, both been uh, helping me here, S little samples and that. Uh, but you get about four dozen out of there. Okay, now the best part about making these cookies, taste test. Mmm. Really good. Really good. Anyway, hope you enjoy these. Try them out. We'll put the description in the bottom. and uh, Or the recipe, I should say. And uh, hope you enjoy. These are really good.
Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Hmm. Hmm.